I'm trading all of this for what is inside this box. Oh yeah, so there is a significant piece yet to be pulled out down there. This, this might be the greatest Pokemon card collection I've ever, <laughs> I've ever got. Okay, so the way that this happened is Michael, a viewer, shout out to Michael, reached out on the Chase Out to Right Price Facebook and just said, hey, I've got some pretty crazy Pokemon cards and I'm looking to trade them um, for stuff. He wants to try out kind of the will it trade concept with all this, the switch lights, the switches, all this stuff here. So the retail on this after tax for me is about 1700 bucks all in. So this is a significant trade. Couple Switch games as a throw in for him. Blast Blue, Monopoly. And then there's two brand new Coral Switch lights. The Fortnite Switch. The Mario Kart Switch. And then you've got Mario Kart Live. And the granddaddy of them all, the Xbox Series X, which I just happened upon in a Meyer one day and have been holding it for a trade. So $1,700 worth of stuff. He's getting all of that, and he was cool with me inspecting everything, making sure stuff looked good as far as the trade goes. He was also cool with the fact that um, I usually like to about double up in value on trade, especially if I'm getting a lot of items which are more work, which is exactly what it was in this case. But this is like a 57 pound box here, so we'll just start unboxing. So there's a 360 controller. So he had some video games and things to kind of um, put the trade over the top. There's a Nest Mini that is brand new. Looks like this is going to have some of the Pokemon cards inside of it. Let's see what's inside of this one. Definitely like the packaging job. Lots of extra boxes and padding in there. Alright, so, he definitely took good care in packing some of the nice stuff. So, he even had like the box for the EX Ruby and Sapphire cards, which is pretty amazing. And honestly, that might go on this shelf back here because I think that would look really good. So, there's a nice bundle of cards. And this is the first little stack. So, these were kind of what I believe were just the throw-ins. Honestly, not too terribly nice here but you got a nice little Meowth promo there's a Pikachu nice dark Raichu and then Lieutenant Surge's Raichu so the part that really caught my eye on these by the pictures was the condition and it might be kind of hard to tell but the condition does look pretty darn nice on this so of course we'll have to look at them closely to get a really good idea, but condition on cards can be everything. So let's see what's in this next box. Shout out to Brother Dave for chopping this video up to make sure you're only getting the good stuff and not all the time it takes to unwrap everything. Okay, stack number two. Ooh. All right, so these are vintage Pokemon cards. My favorite kind of cards are these with the E-Series, the hollow on the edges. I absolutely love those cards. I love the artwork, the look of them. So Electabuzz EX, Gengar, just beautiful. Condition looks really solid. There's a Gengar Legendary Collection, one of my favorite sets. Hypno, a couple Charizards. Look at these. Absolute gems. Those are Reverse Hollow from the E-Series as well. There's a Tyranitar. I believe that is a Reverse Hollow. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think it is. Mewtwo EX. 
Dragonite, one of my favorite cards of all time as far as the artwork goes. I think that's such a cool card. So that was like an extremely nice stack. I know the question I'm going to get a lot is, are you going to grade these? What are you thinking? I'm definitely going to look into it. Um, I got my little magnifier lamp. I finally ordered one of those. And I'm going to look at them close, see how the scratching and all that looks. But these were another nice throw in. The Articuno Moltres and Zapdos Jumbo cards. And I think these ones are actually like... Somewhat valuable. I'm not even sure. Um, I haven't looked them up. But there's a whole stack of them. And the jumbo cards weren't that common in vintage, so pretty cool to get those. And I love the look of those. It looks like we might have another stack. Oh, this is a game. So Shakedown Hawaii for Wii U. I think it was just recently released. As we stand, I think it's the last Wii U game released. We've got a Steel Series headset. Uh, I don't believe it's new. I think it's like new. Arctic One Wireless. So that's like 50 bucks on eBay. So just a nice little stack of games here. Final Fantasy Anthology. It does look complete and minty fresh. Gotta love getting Wii Sports. <laughs> I think he mentioned that was actually an empty. Pokemon X should be empty as well. So those are just extra cases. This will be empty. WarioWare. And then Pokemon Y2, I was excited about this one because I do have the loose cartridge right now. So now I've got myself a near mint complete Pokemon Y2. So it's great having extra cases on hand like that. Because in Pokemon White 2's case, that adds like 50 bucks to the value. Pretty significant difference on Amazon. All right, let's see what's in this guy. I'm gonna guess Pokemon cards. That was definitely the, the main part of this trade. He actually uh, heard a tip from one of my recent videos that said to use TCG Player app if you don't know how much your cards are worth because you can scan your cards right in there. And basically the Pokemon card collection that he scanned in, which he didn't scan in everything, it was valued at like 22 or 2400 bucks, something like that. So it was definitely a pretty significant collection to say the least. And it looks like in this bubble wrap, when I get that undone, there's going to be some good stuff. But in these guys might be more, more of the common and uncommon stuff, but everything is sleeved. Michael, killing it with your preserving condition here. Okay, so there's actually like a lot of decent stuff here. Oh wow, okay. So, yeah, like the Feraligator Reverse Hollow, super cool. Venusaur, I mean, that is not nothing. So there's some really nice stuff in here. Lots of duplicates, Gengar Reverse Hollow. These are in just beautiful condition. So there's an unbelievable amount of awesome cards in this collection let's just take another random sample from this end so those are those appear to be commons so maybe the nicer ones are on the edge here but when we're talking ruby and sapphire era pokemon cards this stuff is in good shape almost everything is something and let's check out what's in this guy okay so We've got hollows, a bunch of E-series hollows. Absolutely beautiful, that Skarmory, love that card. The Ninetales. The condition, guys, that is blowing my mind. I think he said that these were pulled out of packs and put into sleeves. And usually when people say that, it's not actually true. Like they're handled, put in binders, played with. But in this case, <laughs> it seems to be true. So I think we might have a stack of gradable cards. He said the Mewtwo was the one card that was played with, and that definitely seems accurate. So there's some Ninetales base, Zapdos. I mean, they, they just keep coming. This this might be the greatest Pokemon card collection I've ever <laughs> I've ever got. This is un 
unreal. So nothing too crazy here, but lots of reverse hollows. <laughs> and then here we go. Here's some a stack of beautiful Japanese hollows. Typhlosion, Kingdra. Just, I mean, it's just amazing. Absolutely incredible collection. There's a beautiful Dragonite. Rockets Mewtwo, that's a really nice one. And then back to more English Hollows. I mean, can I get a like? If you know anything about Pokemon cards, you're probably going crazy right now, as I kind of am. This is insane. And it might be hard to tell the condition. You can usually tell on the back of the cards. If there's whiting on the edges, it's easier to tell. And these are just minimal, minimal whiting. So, yeah, I've got I've got a lot of work ahead of me, uh, inspecting things, seeing what which stuff is worth grading, and doing all that kind of stuff. But I mean, we're just, I mean, constant, beautiful, potentially gradable cards. So, I'm pretty darn excited. Hey, look at that Deli Bird First Edition Hollow. There's a beautiful Blastoise. Let's see how that one looks. It looks stunning. <laughs> uh, this is this is awesome. A lot of this stuff, even if it grades like a seven or eight, that would increase the value. Now the downside is grading is taking forever if you go with the cheaper services. So if I want to get any of this stuff back in a reasonable time frame, I'll have to pony up and pay fifty-five dollars a card to grade. There's some first edition Shadowless, Magnemite, Poliwhirl, and then just, it just keeps coming. These are, um, what is the name of that set? I can't remember. There's a lot of goodies in here. Let's see. There you go. There's another beautiful E-Series Polyrath, and then you got Lapras. I love these old EX, vintage EX cards with the silver borders. Those are just, wow. There's a whole stack of them, too. Those are absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure those are the Ruby and Sapphire set. There's a Shadowless Pikachu. Looks like a whole stack of Shadowless, including Bulbasaur, Charmander. Not first edition, unfortunately. But still good to have them be Shadowless. So that is... Oh, and there's Squirtle. That's what I was looking for. We're in business, folks. We are in business. Maybe some can see why I made a trade of such magnitude to get these Pokemon cards. And the crazy thing is, Michael actually sent off his best, his beautiful, insane best cards to get graded. Um, he's going to reach out to me when those get back to him from PSA. But this right here is the uh, Southern, I think it's Southern Islands complete set. Just missing the Mew, uh, but I did have a Japanese Mew in here somewhere. And that set, honestly, is like a pretty easy three to five hundred bucks if it's in decent shape. And uh, yeah, they're they're in decent shape. So I would say this set's going to be closer to the five hundred mark. So that. That's beautiful. It's packaged extremely well, wrapped up in this bubble wrap, so I'm going to get these all out. So there's the Japanese Mew. So 17 English cards, one Japanese, and we've got the complete Southern Islands set. And I believe somewhere in here he has the binder, which definitely adds to the value. <laughs> so this trade, it, it started out a lot smaller than it was, but once we both realized that, okay, we, we, we can make some deals here, he kind of started saying, all right, well, I've got a bunch more stuff. Are you interested in anything else? And I was like, yeah, and I've got a bunch more stuff too. I always love keeping trade inventory for stuff like this. And so this trade started with a couple switches and just turned into what you guys are seeing now. But here's the Southern Islands binder, and then it has unrelated Pokemon cards, but again, they're beautiful.
These are non-hollow, it appears, but they are rare. There's some hollow energies. So everything in here appears to be a rare, which means there's a black star on the bottom right corner. That's how you can tell if they're rare for those that don't know. So nice binder of vintage rare Pokemon cards. How can you tell that they're vintage? Well, usually on the bottom middle of the card, it might be hard for you guys to see, but in this case it says 2003 Pokemon slash Nintendo. So 2003, definitely vintage. Uh, I would say 2007 or older, you're definitely intrigued, but even 2007 to 2012, more likely to be valuable. Let's put it that way. There's still definitely some great modern cards to get, but if you get vintage, on average, the card's going to be more valuable. There's a pit Amiibo. Good old Inkling. We've got Alone in the Dark for Dreamcast. Pretty nice title there. Final Fantasy. Again, great condition. Everything here, really clean, smells good, <laughs> well kept up. Checking all the right boxes. Final Fantasy VIII. So that one's got a crap case, but Toy Commander for a Dreamcast. So pretty much all the video games, I will be making sure everything looks good and sending them off to Amazon FBA, getting as much money back as possible from the deal, because I'm gonna have a lot of funds tied up depending on how many cards I decide to get graded. I might send out some of the nicer ones Express, pay the $55 a card, and I might wait until I get those back to see how they do. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. But if I get some nines, some eights, and maybe even some tens, then I'll know that I can send a bunch of the rest of rest out. Uh, so there's a PS4 controller. That's the really cool, like, classic PS1 look. Love that controller. We play, that's just got the remote and the game. Remember, he sent pictures of that. And then Wii Sports Resort also has the remote and the game. And then don't sleep on the USB dongle. So, those are always worth a little bit. So, the Rock Band USB dongle. In this bubble wrap is an Xbox 360. And then it looks like most of the other stuff is controllers, cords. And then kind of a stack of mostly common 360 games, but there's a good good bit of them. Uh, I think this is a PlayStation 1 system. And then, oh yeah, so there is a significant piece yet to be pulled out down there. But most of the 360 games, I, won't, I don't really need to show those to you guys. We might just get them all stacked up and give you a quick pan over. And we'll put that right here. So there you have it. The Death Stranding PS4. And that baby is complete in box, near mint condition. Um, basically traded this for a Switch Lite in the game, I think, is how we... It was, it was kind of one of the, the bonus items. I can sell these pretty well on Amazon, especially in this condition. A little bit of a, a risk, since a lot of times people like to rent systems from me and return them a couple months later for free. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. But looks like here we've got a Neo, Gini, Neo Geo <laughs> Neo Geo Mini. That is it. So this trade was absolutely crazy. Um, probably going to have to make an update video on the Pokemon cards and what I decide to do with those how they're looking and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and please hit the like button if you made it this far. So yeah, this was a crazy one. Let me know what your favorite part of the trade was down below and we will see you guys next time.